Galapagos is a really unique place in the world. This is our one chance to keep one archipelago as close to pristine as possible. Galapagos National Park and the Charles Darwin Foundation were both established in 1959. One of the first major things that they started doing was looking at all the tortoise populations. The two islands that have been constant all the way through to this day are Española breeding and Pinzón eggs hatchlings brought in from the wild. These are the incubators that we use. They're simply a wooden box inside a wooden box. The heating element is a hair dryer, so you can maintain that temperature to produce females. And we keep the eggs in plastic dish pans, really, and then covered with a piece of plastic and kept in the incubators. And it will take two to four days for a hatchling to come out of the egg. So the entire hatchling population gets put in, they're marked and measured, they get put in the dark box. Okay, once the tortoises are, have completed their month in the dark box, they're then removed from there and placed into the corrals we have for the hatchling tortoises. Once they reach about two years old, they're moved from these corrals out into the natural habitat that we call the pre-adaptation corral, and they're kept in this corral for about two years, and then they would be repatriated to the island of origin. So the decision was made to, to use 39 tortoises here. We took the opportunity of using these hybrid tortoises that are at the research station or at the tortoise center here that would never ever be able to go out into the wild because they're hybrids, sterilize them and, and put them out into the wild. And just this week, we took those 39 tortoises to Pinta and released them into the wild. tied the tortoises up so they actually were upright and slung from a pole so we got well over three kilometers up and as soon as they're untied boy they're out of there they just start plowing through the vegetation doing exactly what we wanted you know by the next day we started seeing birds and lava lizards on the on the smash down trails the tortoises had left and a Galapagos dove landed on one of the tortoise back and it just seemed like everything was right, we now have habitat engineers on Pinta. I think the work done with tortoises in Galapagos is very important for other places in the world. A lot of conservationists are trying to save areas that have already been destroyed. Galapagos hasn't been destroyed. This is our chance as humans to show that we know how to care for a place and preserve it and conserve it for the future. And if we can't do it here, I don't think we can do it anywhere.